The human torch was denied a bank loan. Okay, and we are back, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Manzy Boys podcast. We haven't been here in a week. Well, some of us have, but um, and it feels really good to be back. Uh, I'm Sam. I'm Jackson. I'm Connor. And I'm Connor. And it is November the 29th. It is after Thanksgiving. Um, Yay. I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. God knows I didn't. No, it was fine. <laughs> did, any, did you guys have good Thanksgivings? I, I feel refreshed, Jim. <laughs> I feel oh, nice and refreshed. No, I feel good. <laughs> no. Yes. Okay. I do. So, do we, should we go through our shapes first? Well, I want to say about my Thanksgiving. No. I don't care. Oh, no, okay, fine. Let's start on a positive note. I care. Okay, I care. okay. positive okay. note. Okay. Positive okay. note. Okay. So uh, Sam so made me read all that thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I care. Tell me. I forgot. How was your Thanksgiving? I forgot. Okay. How was your Thanksgiving, Connor? It was pretty solid. You know, you <clears throat> went home, ate food. It was literally just my parents and I. I don't know about you guys. But yeah. Same. It was just yeah. the fam. Do you guys like Thanksgiving dinner? Just yeah. kidding. You don't like it? I'm not a big fan for it. You don't like turkey? No, it's I'm a, fire. I love turkey, but th- you know me. I'm a super picky eater. I only eat, like, the turkey and the rolls and, like, some vegetables. That's it. Yeah. That doesn't... Yeah. You don't eat... Do you like... Not mashed potatoes. I don't like mashed what? potatoes. What? No. I try, so them. Bland. That's like the I try them. That's, like, the best. I try them all the time, and no, I don't not. like well, them. Well, yeah. whoever's Every making time. your mashed potatoes ain't making them right. Well, I meant, I'm, like, because um, Jackson would like them if they it's why you make just potato. Yeah, They're also right. I don't like them. Good. I you, try them all the time, and I still don't like them. Do you like don't green like green casserole? Things. No. Do you like the yams? No. no. Those are dude. They literally dude, have marshmallows. Dude, on you them. could list how many things you eat like on a single page. Yeah, no, in I could. big font. <laughs> <laughs> Eighteen <laughs> comic font. sans. In comic sans. sans. No, honestly, that's yeah, that's so true. No, I like Thanksgiving dinner though. Oh, yeah, me too. I think there's some things that hit better than other, like stuffing. I like stuffing, but it's like okay. I can also see why people think it's gross. It's literally just like breadcrumbs and like. Cum. Well, it's because it's soggy. It's, it's kind of soggy. Like, also, you literally put it up the turkey's asshole, yeah. right? But that's kind of hot. Right. True. Yeah, that's what makes it good. But my parents did a good job. So, I mean, sometimes, because well, usually we go to like my aunt's house and it's like just more regular Thanksgiving, but this year we did like Thanksgiving on the grill, bro. Oh, you grill? Which is so much better than doing it in the oven. Did you grill the turkey? The turkey, yeah. yeah. Did I say Thanksgiving? I meant to say turkey on the grill. We did turkey on, on, yeah, we did all the food. We grilled the mashed potatoes. Dude, we grilled the yams. Fair. Dude, well, I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving, even though it probably wasn't as, you know, great as it probably could have been or whatever. I know a lot of people didn't go out. Or maybe they did. Maybe people went out and saw their grandparents and they coughed on them. I hope so. You know, this whole COVID myth thing is We're starting to get die on my Yeah, the <laughs> pandemic. The, the pandemic. The old. getting old. The come oh, like, die. The pandemic. Well, hopefully they start vaccinating people this month so we can get out of this shit. Dude, I'm not getting that vaccine. I'm kind of anti-vaccinated. Oh, Dude, you know there's, like, yeah, you no, know there's like five different don't. chips We're going to get flagged. Are we? We're not spreading misinformation. Check. What is it? There's Africa check and what's the other one? I'm not getting checked by no African. Okay. Yeah. So we should maybe just go through... Shapes really quick, I, I, I feel very sturdy, very triangle today, I gotta say. Mm-hmm. And my number is 10. Not super high, but it's like, you know, it's a good day. It's I think I'm just number. excited to it be is. back doing this. To yeah. Be honest. yeah. I'm feeling good. I'm definitely feeling solid too. I think I'm gonna go square. Another solid shape. Oh, wait, no, square. I don't wanna be a square. Hold up. I just remembered the context around that. <laughs> what, context? what context? You don't want to be a square, dude. Yeah, because you're not around. I fucking hate you. <laughs> ring, ding, ding. Around ding. what? The area. <laughs> Moving on to location segment. Moving, Moving on, on to okay. Connor. Connor. Okay, wait. What I didn't get location? My wait, no, you said like? two. I feel oh, like I, I thought you said two. The Whatever. map. Okay, well, no. You, what's your number? What's your number? Everywhere. <laughs> The Connors are doing a bit. We gotta get to them. No, uh, what's, what's okay. your number? Wait, let him take uh, his number. Let him. Let him. What's your number? number? I don't yeah. know. What's your um, pick a number? Ah, three. No, six. Four. That's not. That doesn't feel. That's sincere. not a number. You can't force it. Okay. I mean, that has to genuine. Wow. I need to I'm know your number. I'm getting criticized for my own number here. Jesus. We just let's give you a moment to think about. It. Okay. 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 Fine. We'll then go. We to want your true answer. We'll go to you. What's your? Okay. What's your shape and number? Uh, triangle. 
because I also feel sturdy. Uh, like Sam. We're twinsies. And I'm probably for my number 10. <laughs> I, oh my God. I, when I heard Sam say it, I was like, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Connor. Other Connor? Um, Anime Connor? I'm going to go Thank ahead and Connor. agree with Jackson here that I'm a square because I was not... I was not there. Um, <laughs> and let's see. I'm feeling 11 because I'm better than both of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, we're all square except for Jackson because he was around last week. I wasn't. Oh. You all left me. You were in a circle. Do you know how many times I cried into your beds, respectively? Probably none. Once. Actually? Yeah, you have to guess each. whose bed it was. It was mine. Mine was covered in stuff. Sam, you're looking very white. Like, oddly pale. I, um... Are you a ghost? I haven't gotten out in the sun very much. Are you a racist? Yes. No. How do we feel? I mean, yes to the ghosts. <laughs> yes to the ghosts. We got him. Do we... Shout are out? Are you being serious, or are you just being mean? To no, I'm I'm being serious. You look reverb. paler than you usually... Not, but, like, your face. Reverb. I've lost um, a lot of... Reverb. Blood. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Shout where out did, Where did you put the Shout blood? Shout out Reverb. I donated it. Wait, did I you wanna, actually donate blood? I just... Okay, wait. I want to hear... Uh, I have donated blood before. Oh, but not over Thanksgiving? No. I haven't donated if blood in two years. Blood, three years. If you donate blood to the turkey, do you think it would come back to life? Yes. Yes. Okay. Should we move on? Yeah, we should. Yeah, we should. I want to hear what Jack Jackson's experience during the puck the uh, last episode. It was really good, actually. Um, I had a thicky on and Jake, and uh, Perry was cool. Um, <laughs> oh, well, I hope they don't listen to this. Part. No, <laughs> okay, they we won't. Cut that part. We are. Jake is a sick big boy. Uh, well, no, Jake is no, but Jake is thick though. Jake is thick. He's got good big ass features. He's got good. Like fine ah, poop shoot retracted okay. shit place. Was it Maybe hard to cut it, be I in guess. charge? Uh, no, actually, actually, I really like being in charge. I will say, um, mm. I think it flowed nice. Um, they actually kind of dominated me a bit mm. in the sense that I would say something and they would Sounds say, hot. "Well, yes, actually, oh. kind of yeah. was." Jake and uh, Perry would be like Jackson. Don't say that. Or Jackson, uh, yeah, say something. Yeah, but, uh, I, I'm sensing a reoccurring theme starting to develop where it's like the guests run the show. Yeah, well, we're it's just because here. We're not. A lot of us aren't very good at um, talking. Talking. Or thinking. Or thinking, yeah. yeah. Are we good at anything? I'm thinking. We're not even funny. I don't even sound good in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you don't want to hear what it sounds like, like outside here. <laughs> right. so, well, this unfortunately, is I do because I sometimes I listen. Well, I'm to glad that you guys. I'm glad you guys have do it. Too. I'm scared. No. It was actually a pretty I good think pod. Experiencing it is enough. <laughs> Dude, listening to the podcast high. Have you, you listened have you to the podcast it? high? Have you done it yet? I have. I've listened That's to the funny. podcast high. Does it, it make you so laugh? much more entertaining? Really? Well, then there you go. I actually listened to it on my own, just not high, and I'm entertained. But maybe I need to listen to it high. Um, shout out to us. Are we gonna record it high one of these days? That I, okay. Maybe. That's what I want to talk about. So Jake and some other people in the other house, you know, some other future guests, listeners. Um, <laughs> they are they've ran a pilot of their own podcast and they it didn't go very well evidently um why not one like, someone was drunk two other people were high <laughs> and um there was, the, they the, didn't have any structure like we have structure yeah we the, have a clear hierarchy the problem right yeah. sam's on top and we the, have like the segments that you can't <laughs> yeah. no the problem in. is actually though is, is that you can't like it, it's one thing that i mean yeah we get off track a lot us four but but we're we not keep drunk. It, we keep <laughs> it, but we keep it going enough right. to where we are talking and we're t we're like moving on to the next thing and not just like beating a dead horse or beating yeah. a dead horse auction. Do we not oh. beat dead horses? We, okay, fine, viewers, fine. we're back. It was very funny what just happened, but <laughs> we can't include it. But it's a secret. <laughs> it's our secret. Or we do include it. So do you guys have I any? Do you guys have any uh, thoughts about? Well, I guess none of us have listened to it yet. No. Um, so to what? It was just the pod. It was more serious than I expected, oh. but that's because we had good conversation. Um, there were some segments where I'm like, okay, we're referencing certain Scooter Fuel members and memories that like the viewers have no context for. But um, Scooter Fuel is what we call our group of friends. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a long cool. story. There's a long story behind that name. Maybe one day we'll break it down, but I don't want to do that right now. No. Is it a long story? <laughs> well, no, no. I don't know. Really, it's just no. what we call our friend group. It's pretty simple, isn't it? It's well, it's because we're bullies. But are we? 
Yeah, we're yes, cool no, kids. we're definitely yeah. bullies. Oh. Do you guys want to move we're on then? Yeah. To yeah. This week's cringy. Oh, the Reddit cringe segment. I only put two in. Jackson, why don't you take us away? Okay. So wait, what am I looking at here? This is fucking this ridiculous. Is, this <laughs> this is the worst. This is the most downvoted post on uh, r slash funny this funny. week. So we're gonna debate whether this is funny or not. Do you want to read it or do you want me to read it? I'll read it out, sure. Okay, go for it. Feminists are realizing the breath oxygen made from photosynthesis and not photosynthesis. No, it says photosynthesis. Oh, that's why it's funny. Oh, I didn't see that. But it's yeah, still photo, not Photosynthesis, not photosynthesis. Oh, I, I thought it just repeated <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, but, but first of all, it says feminist after realizing the breathed <laughs> oxygen. The, the well, they, back. What is they, it trying to say? It probably I don't should be it. they. It's... <laughs> <laughs> forgot the why. Okay, wait. I'll, I'll, they I'll, oxygen. Oxygen. I'll explain it because I think I understand it. So it, they're saying like once feminists realize that they're breathing oxygen made from photosynthesis and not photosynthesis, and then they get mad because it has he instead of she in it. It's just stupid. It no, that's just, it's not funny. <laughs> that's not. I think what ruins it for me is honestly that they put feminists after realizing the breathe. Well, they could have <laughs> yeah, spelled the, it right. They could have checked, all, right? Yeah. One of the comments is that good old the breathe oxygen. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> okay, I gotta be honest. I chose this because I thought it was hilarious. Because it just said from photosynthesis and not photosynthesis. <laughs> I had no um, idea what that meant. Now you look silly. <laughs> now I look like an idiot, but I thought that was fucking hilarious. Well, I, uh, do it's people what, really use r slash? Don't go there. We're going to get distracted. Funny. It's a cesspool of just okay, non-humor. Yeah, I, well, I just don't... It doesn't... Anything that is titled something funny or funny something is not funny. It's not funny. It's like I funny. It's like me. Right, but you're not. It's not like we call you Funny Jackson. So no, it's not like you. <laughs> I'm no Jackson Funny. Fun, okay, fun I'm Batman. sorry, but I just looked at the next post. Okay, and it's so stupid. Is it the Are public art? The ex- explain like I'm five. The explain like I'm five. Right one? Yeah. That's the next Reddit cringe segment. I'll read it out. So the viewers explain like I'm five. It's pretty much just people asking questions to expl- asking questions and having them explained by other redditors in a simple way that they can understand. So the question is, how does the forest never run out of branches and sticks if people keep collecting them to make fires? <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my god! Do you think this person's serious? They have to be, right? Yeah, I, I, can we answer the question? What? Wait. So it's saying, how do they not run out of branches and can sticks? We, can we? Yeah. just? I don't know. I just need to mention that the this user's name is um. Dance Mom's biggest fans. <laughs> the way Dance Mom likes the fan. show. Yeah, the show. So this is fan. this is an avid fan of Dance Mom. Okay, Dance so Mom. we're starting in the single digits. So right he's like a though. milf lover. Right. Milf lover, or or they're they're in it for the dancers and not the moms. It could be the. Uh, no, I think the well Dance is it Mom. is that is show Dance where Mom's they... the moms dancing? Yeah, no, yeah, no, it is, right? No, let's Dance, see what Dance no. Moms is. It's the show oh, it the about the little dancer? girl. Yeah, it's, yeah, it focuses on the mom drama of the little girls dancing. Oh, this is uh, garbage, trash. It's actually quite entertaining, dude. It's got a four point seven out of ten on IMDb. Yeah, we it's should terrible. Watch it. It's we should actually watch really it. entertaining. We should watch it and then review it. It's really entertaining. <laughs> is this the I'm one with the little what's her name? Kyle, no, Maddie. The what? singer now? The oh. girl? No. Okay, no. Never mind. Abby Wait, Lee Dance Company. Sh- so well, let's answer Dance Mom's biggest fan's question. So how do how does the forest never run out of branches and sticks? <sighs> if people keep collecting them. Yeah. Well, there must just be a lot of them, huh? <laughs> yeah, the supply chain is just not impacted like Dance Mom's biggest fan <laughs> thinks yeah. it is. Maybe the branches and the sticks, when they love each other, they get really close <laughs> and make more branches and sticks. Right. That's based. Yeah. Or maybe the people who collect them to make f- the fires, they just go put them back after they're done. Because it's a finite amount of branches and sticks. Yeah. Right. But they just never well, like, the actually get used. Don't up. They're go just anywhere. Con- they're in they circulation all the there. time. Right. Yeah. They bring them back. That's a stupid question. Like, Cause you, the you, sti- you, just because you burn the stick doesn't oh, mean it you know goes what? away. No, it's that like, would be it's like, anti-physics. It's like one of those little libraries that are on the, the <laughs> people's front lawns. Like, oh, you take yeah. a stick, you leave a stick. Yeah, oh, so right, you, right. It's every time full. you pick up a stick, you drop another stick. Yeah, right, right. So there's always the same amount of them. That's just different. They <laughs> circulate just, through. It's just physics. It's That's just basically yeah. Portland, question. Dude. Um, you know, the, it's it's basically like a law of the universe, dude. Conservation of branches and sticks. You would literally just right. be walking on with one stick, consistently <laughs> putting it down. And well, unless up you had stick. two, then you could put two but down and pick a different two up. You can only carry so many sticks. You can't even pick up the first stick without dropping. Some people can carry sticks with their finger, with their 
toes and stuff. Oh, they could have, if like, you could four. Put toes are people. Sticks between your toes and then hold them up here. You could hold, like, four those, sticks. Those are like a monkey. So many like a monkey. Yeah, like those a monkey. are monkeys. Okay, wait. I, so I, I clicked on explain what, like I'm five, right? And so one of the, from ten days ago, one of the top posts is explain like I'm five is looking for moderators. We should apply. I think I'm five. Definitely. Because we just and proved I that explain. we can explain. Yeah, we just proved it, yeah. <laughs> to a five-year-old. <laughs> to a five-year-old. Easy peasy, done. We should get a five-year-old and test your yes. hypothesis. Okay, we could explain them. Viewers, yeah. if, things if them. anyone has a five-year-old that you'd be willing to <laughs> donate to science, send them over we our, can, our address. We can figure is... out a deal. <laughs> should we start a... Uh, oh yeah, and our address right? is... <laughs> yeah. We should start a subreddit. We should, you can mail the baby to us at manzyboys at gmail.com. M-A-N-Z-I-B-O-I-S. Oh, and we could just print him out, yeah, right? <laughs> you fax, yeah, just, our just fax is 583 Or if One. you don't have a fax anymore, you could just save your baby as a PDF. <laughs> yeah, save the baby as a PDF. <laughs> Put it on a floppy disk and send it our way. I have no thoughts. You need to steamroll the baby. <laughs> yeah. Carve out the floppy disk. Oh, <laughs> preserve God. it. Preserve it, freeze it. I don't know. Oh, something space. like that. You probably know um, better. Um, I don't know what babies look like. Wait, so are we done cringing? There was only two this week. That's Dude, we're never done cringing. We're the Mansi boys. <laughs> I know, I'm always cringing. Wait, so we got... Every time I open my mouth. So the oh. next thing on here is about uh, Belle Delphine. <laughs> yes, we're going to talk Belle about Delphine. Belle Delphine. And how Jackson didn't know till this morning that she was British. I didn't realize she was British. She sounds She's so weird. She's been doing like a podcast tour lately. Really? I hate a yeah. podcast tour? I don't know. I've just been seeing her on a bunch of podcasts. Oh. And a couple I listened to. She was on... Um, nice. Sorry. Yeah, way to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, congrats. She was on, uh, what was she on? <laughs> she was on the H3 podcast, and she was uh -huh. also on, uh, Charlie Penguin Zero's podcast. Mm -hmm. And yeah, she's British. She's actually, like, super Does she normal. have the accent? Yeah, yeah. Oh. very thick accent. Yeah. Damn. So is she coming on our pod? We should just Dude, continue we... spamming her. Please, yeah. please, 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 please. <laughs> no, but I think, I think it's funny. I don't know. I, th I personally think she's, like, a really good fucking business person yeah, anyone that can sell bath water and make a ton of money off of it yeah. is like well winning did you see what she most recently said well, that's um, not like a brilliant well idea. one did you see that she's doing uh nudes now i saw that she was and she's yeah, also she's doing, doing now. porn she's gonna be doing she's porn doing porn now she, so should we like, pay for it see so um, wouldn't that podcast, ruin her whole like thing that no she this going, is what her point done. is is she um so she did like the teas and the lewd stuff for the last few months and that got her money but that's starting to dry up so she'll go like semi-nude now for a while and then she'll do point she said she only needs to do this for about a year and she'll have enough money for the rest of her life like she is slowly building up but only for another year and then Wait, she's what? done so she'll yeah. just be done yeah, she'll Dude, be done. She's like our she'll age, have enough, is what right? She How old is she? She's got to be like our age. So she's already she young than setting herself. Reminds me of the fire movement. Have you guys heard of the fire movement? No. no. People like save like seventy five percent of their income up to a certain point, and then they retire by their life by like forty. Damn, but that's the oh, idea shit, dude. It. Listen we to should. this. Okay, so one of the fucking articles I found when I looked her name up, Belle Delphine will sell condom used in her first ever porn film. Let's bid for that's it. That's how she's going to make money. <laughs> what, if we, what if we oh, hang it on our wall or something? <laughs> but that's the thing. This is why Wait, she's as smart. A, as a Ew. podcast, we could go in and get like a group subscription to her OnlyFans. It's only like 35 just to, bucks. Just to scope it out, right? Just to do, do research and to review it for the, for the masses. Dude, if I see any of you all logging into that more than a few times, yeah, I'm, when, if we do God. do that, then I know what you're doing on it. Yeah. I swear to God. You're doing good research. And That's what you're doing. doing good fucking for research. science. You better be recording your data. <laughs> so, so, wow. So she's going to sell... The data. There's, there's, two, there's two articles that say that she's going to sell the condom. Do you think that it'll be, like, filled with dried cum? That's disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Probably. probably. That's, here's the That's thing. not even her cum, though. No, but on the outside, it'll have her dried <laughs> vaginal fluids. What if it was? It'll have her cum. dried bag. Yeah, what if she actually has a Shit. penis, huh? It's going to be her fucking someone else. All I'm saying, this is the smart thing. She's she's gonna be doing these little things like selling condom or like all this small stuff. It'll add up. She'll make enough. She'll be done within a year. Actually, yeah, she's a life. she's 21. It's a good idea. Been born in October 1999. So that means she. You guys are all older than she is. I'm not. She's but, yeah, two months younger than me. Dude, she's a genius. She really is. Like she she knows what these simps will buy her bath water and her used condoms and shit, yeah. dude. Like for real. She's just. And she's British. Yeah. And yeah. 
Very British. Very British. That's the, it. Just ruins it, man. And apparently, she's this 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 article says she's been in a relationship for three years. Yeah, it's her boyfriend who does all her stuff with her. Yeah, he's like a manager kind of. Oh, for real? It's kind of weird. I think. I, I read I some article it. about it a while ago that was like. I sketchy, <laughs> like like sketchy, like he's like thirty or something or like thirty five. I don't know if it's that, but it's like I, he's just piggybacking yeah. off her money. I don't remember. Hmm. I just know there was something weird about it. Should we? Should hmm. we investigate? Should we investigate three eleven on this one? Investigate three eleven. Rolling Stone noted that her style in this second video, that's talking about some videos is more in line with that of the one she later adopted during her rise to prominence on in Instagram. So Rolling Stone described her style in some video as alien Disney princess porn star. Well done, oh, Rolling Stone. That, yeah, well that's, done, Rolling that's Stone. Well, well fucking said. This is why Rolling Stone writers. is... Yeah. Shout out to Rolling shout out Stone. To Rolling shout Stone. out to Rolling Stones. You should do an article on us. And shout you out to Rolling Rock. Hey, you guys should do an op-ed <laughs> on my it. asshole. Rolling Stone. <laughs> Okay, so what about PogChamp memes? Moving you can't on. just say that. You can't just say what about PogChamp memes. <laughs> and also, and I put in quote, I put in parentheses oh. how much Reddit hurts me in general because Reddit does hurt me. On Can one someone hand, explain what a PogChamp is? Have you not me? seen the memes where it's like the animated girl and she's like, I guess you are my little PogChamp. Yeah, but what is a pog champ? Okay, I'll know. play the audio. I think it's, pog is just something that's like I face. I guess from, you are my well, little it's pog, the pog champ. Face, but it's from like League of Legends from like ten years ago, where if you like clutched a game or something, people would say pog because it's like play, play of the, the game. Yeah, but now and it's then now it's cringy. back. It's cringy though now. And yeah, because there's like, it's become like yeah. the e girl, you know? Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Like calling people. We poggers. could become e girls. It's like I want you to yeah, call me play. poggers and. And step on my balls with stiletto heels. <laughs> okay, but that's. But also, kinda... I do kind of want that. <laughs> right, guys? Yeah, there's places you can go. I guarantee you in Portland, there's places you can there go. There are. Would they say poggers? That's the. Would they, yeah, would well, they? If you pay them enough, they would fucking tell you anything, dude. <laughs> okay, okay. <get> it. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded bad. Okay. But, uh, here it is. I've already seen this, yeah. but. <sighs> Fine, I guess you are my little pog champ. Come here. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god. I, 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 I oh, sorry about that. Um that might have been a little loud. Head, I, headphones user I warning. It's, I think it's so Post warning. cringy though, right? I guess you like, are my little it's punch just the, it's just that girl that the keeps girl getting part, re-put the into girl different is, memes. Uh, cringy. <laughs> yeah. So no, monkey like, is funny. My problem my problem I don't know if any of the if you know what viewers, go find the meme. Cause you need to see how cringy it is. Or maybe I can I can though. link it I can link There's it in the YouTube description. But it, the problem is, is someone went out of their way and put time and, and effort into animating that. Why? <laughs> animated that. And then they voiced over and oh man, I hate it. It's incredible. See, this is what I was saying. Reddit. On one hand, there's lots of helpful stuff I found on Reddit, and then on the other hand, they do this. No, but this is this is it's part just of Reddit. Man, it's yeah, it's part it's of just people. Who the blame, collective are. I blame Reddit. No, no. I, I think it's just people, but still, like Reddit hurts me going on there sometimes. I mean, yeah. they're they're idiots. They they are the type of people who make that, <laughs> but then they're the type of people who put that monkey part at the end too. So like you know, so it's a I, give and take. I guess it is a it is a balance, but <laughs> it's a balance. It's I just balanced. I guess it's just if I see one it's more things, if I be. see one more pog champ meme, I'm gonna shoot shoot myself, dude. It's fucking. Um, I've seen like four, and that's enough. I they're on like Instagram them. now too. I yeah, they, like no, them. they've been on Instagram. I've, yeah. I, I've been seeing a few of them for like weeks yeah. now. They've been they've been bubbling up now. They're getting popular. Um, what are you doing? Sorry. No, no, I think he's right. I think he's right. For the viewers, he's putting something. Oh, okay. in the, um, I'm just, just putting amazing. stuff on the uh, the doc. We could, yeah, yeah. we could do that. So. The, oh, the Pope. Uh, Pope. Yeah, Did the you guys see this? That. Yeah, is it? I just linked a, a CNN article to it, but just for. Uh, I don't even know if it has, Does it have a picture of the... I don't know. The, no, it doesn't. Of a big booty Fucking bitch. Fucking CNN, you... Bitches. <laughs> don't link the picture. Well, anyways, the Pope <laughs> liked some model with a really big ass. Just ass sticking out. Well, and I one. really don't think it, the Pope was the one who did it. But I think it's really funny that... Uh, I doubt the Pope manages his own Instagram. No, he definitely doesn't. But you know he goes on only for that. But I like to <laughs> think that he's on there. Here it is. <laughs> Dude, she's dressed like a schoolgirl too. That's look funny. at him. Look at his face. He's probably like, Dude, oh, yeah. you know, he's wanked to some like middle-aged Latino Instagram models. <laughs> Latina. 
Just yeah. cut that whole part well, where I say he is Argentinian. Argentinian. <laughs> he is Argentinian. I so, bet it's an Argentinian woman. I don't think. Wait, that. why is he white? Maybe. Why is he white? You mean? I think he has German ancestry. So he's not like from Argentina. Hispanic. Hold up. Isn't he? There's no way. Wait, he has German ancestry. He lives in Argentina. He's Someone do oh, some research. No. I, maybe he doesn't have German ancestry. Uh, know maybe he is. doesn't. Dude, we're gonna lose all of our freaking uh, religious people. That yeah, he's us. Argentinian. Is he German? Oh, I knew that, but it's but why? But why? Yeah, oh, are his God. parents? One of the children of Mario Bergoglio, an Italian railway accountant. His, so his father was an Italian railway accountant from the 30s oh, so and he's, 40s. So he's Italian. Right. Dude, he's the Pope Argentine. was, bo- was yeah. born in 1936. So he was, wait, and he was born in Argentina? His nationality is Argentinian. But was he born in Italy? Because uh, if so, he would have been born, born under Mussolini. Born December 1936, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Oh, okay. Was his born his, in Buenos his, Aires. It said his Argentina. dad fled Italy he was born because in of um, Mussolini. So. Oh damn! There goes our fascist pope connection. That's too bad. I don't think that. No, but we can still just like say there. that that's true. Because no. like, fuck it, yeah. Gonna check. Pope, pope fascist, more like it. Yeah. Nice guys. Uh, huh. Well, he's. He's, Connor just took his dick out. Maybe. Yeah, do you think so? Do you think some intern was just like oh. flicking around, or do you think they forgot to sign out of the Pope's Instagram when they were done for the night? Oh, yeah. I mean, how how hard is it to accidentally like something on Instagram? It's pretty but you easy. have to be following it, or you it has to pop up on your explore page, which means that they had already been looking at that, so mm-hmm. they the the algorithm knew to put it on the explore page. I mean, the so there's pope. a lot of parameters here. Right. But they also said they're launching a full investigation. Which I think is hilarious. I love how the Vatican yeah, is just—it's just, it's just some twenty-year-old intern who's supposed to be the social media. Like, I guess that manager. ass is just—I mean, it really was, good. I guess it was worth are it. They, are they gonna? Are they gonna fire him though? That's not very. They're probably just like, gonna send him to confessional and then have him like. I don't know. Can you confess to murdering someone? Yeah. Yeah. And they I legally—they mean, they can't tell anyone. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh shit. Attorney pl- client privilege. Well, actually, but they're not know. attorneys, well, though. They're priests. Yeah, wait, they're priests. Priests client. And they don't pay they're taxes. God's attorneys. <sighs> well, shout out to the Pope. <laughs> shout and that the model. Pope. Shout, shout out to the model. Shout, shout out to the, the model. model. For being the one that... Yeah. Yeah. I think, one I think, did I the think, Pope. I think Bell Delphine, defying ass. Bell Delphine <laughs> should type, ta- uh, tap into the Pope. You know, audience. The only way 2020 ends is if Belle Delphine fucking grinds on Pope Francis. The, yeah, the only way 2020 ends is when Belle Delphine gets the pasties on her nipples and Pope Francis's face. Dude, yeah. And does a porn. Dude, what if Pope Francis sucks on her nippy tippies? Okay. Dude, you make me want to move on to the next topic. <laughs> I guess we are gonna move on to the next topic. <laughs> because, <laughs> because you say things. You just say things. I say words. And you I'm saying it, you're thinking it, that makes it real. Oh. Okay, so did you guys see this Demi Lovato thing? Yeah, that was, that was fucking I also hilarious. thought this would be interesting. Just because we have some people that are... Well, I guess one of, one of our friends is vegan. Very, very staunch vegan because of animal rights and stuff and yet she eats my cake and i think this is funny because demi lovato's like uh um posting something about animal sanctuary with this fucking turkey and then all of a sudden it's like she's roasting turkey on thanksgiving did you see that yeah so there was a photo shoot came out with demi lovato holding a turkey for a sanctuary from an animal sanctuary and then on instagram her account posts a picture of a fucking roasted turkey in the oven being like can't wait and it was like a picture of it all done and it was like so thankful yeah so <laughs> thankful so it was <laughs> yeah this is pretty much what it was like it's what we call irony so she posted this thing with this white turkey it's like remember this is what you're killing on thanksgiving or whatever fucking shit oh, yeah. it was for a, a page called farm sanctuary turkeys are bright social animals who enjoy being pet just ask demi lovato oh. Dude, Demi Lovato needs to get pet. Wasn't she the one that had, like, really bad addiction problems? No, Demi Lovato had, like, a massive heroin issue. I'm sure a lot of them do. Yeah, but hers was um, really bad from what I hear. (laughs) Best of luck to her. Um, thanks well, I for hope bringing she, some light into my life. Shout out to Demi Lovato. I hope she enjoyed. Wow. I hope she enjoyed her turkey. I'd second. It actually you know looked what? really yeah. good. It looked like they did a good job they on did. it. Well, maybe it's, it's the same. Maybe it's bird? like a balance. You know, she goes to the yeah. sanctuary to support the cause, and then she. So, so that she can eat the turkey, so that yeah. she leaves things yeah. completely yeah. Neutral. even, yeah. neutral. If she's and doing better than everyone else who just eats a turkey. Right, that way it's perfectly murders, balanced, as, as all, all things, things should, should be. be. 
Save one turkey, eat another. Right. Yeah. So I mean, honestly, it's fine. Be, right? If we murder 50% of the turkey population, the other 50% will have room to thrive. It's like Bill Cosby. He rapes, but he, he saves. saves. Is someone's, uh, whose fan is on on their computer? Is it yours? Mine. It's yours. That's okay. I don't think it picks it up. If it um, does, well, uh... So, yeah. Background music. Background music. I put, uh, like to uh, did you see what finish. I put in the doc for next? I put that in for you. And for kind of me, but mostly oh, for you. Oh, Larry Burton Reese. It's yeah. such a good... I wanted to get your thoughts on it after we listened to... My thoughts on it? So, there's this podcast by the, uh, pretty famous actor LeVar Burton who was on what was he on The Next Generation Star Trek and then he was also I'm on sure. he did the reading rainbow reading thing fucking yeah. rainbow he, but he's he has got a great story telling voice. yeah he has a podcast and called LeVar Burton Reads where he just reads uh, fiction and like short stories yeah, we listen to it on the way up here we went at least on like five episodes yeah I mean it was hard to pay attention because of, I was distracted by Sam's lusciousness but you know, um, good good storytelling. Well, Mark Burton is the character that Lance Reddick dressed up as on the Eric Andre show when he came out right. in the slave. I monster. wish I would love Bob Burton. I, I wish I would love Bob Burton. Is that what he's saying? Mm-hmm. Rainbow can't read me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, where's my iconic <laughs> slave role? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Eric Andre. Shout, Shout out to Eric Andre. Andre. I think it was funny though how goofy, like Lovar Burton is goofy, kind of. He is. He is goofy. He 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 says all these funny things about the stories. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's wholesome. He's got some hot takes. Does he? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I don't like stories that. No, he's super wholesome. No, yeah, he is. I and think then, I, I recommend it, honestly. You guys should yeah. watch. Should and they got LeVar Burton on Eric Andre to say, uh, I wish I was Lance Riddick. Did they really? Mm-hmm. In the new season. <laughs> I haven't seen that. Wait, I've watched all the episodes, though. Uh, You've watched every new episode? I all saw four. a clip. I saw no, a clip. No, there's, there's... Yeah, on but YouTube. Well, the thing is, they don't, episodes, they don't though. release all of the episodes on YouTube, so... Yeah, are all all I think Hulu? they'll slowly... Uh, the, not yet. Yeah. Where are they released? Adult Swim, right? Adult, Adult Swim, Swim app. Yeah. Adult Swim.com, maybe. We're talking yeah. about her. <laughs> well, but but either way though, Lavar Burton, wholesome Keanu Chungus. Yeah, podcast. wholesome Keanu Chungus. One hundred. One hundred podcast Chungus. Podcast. Poggers butthole. Poggers. Poggers. There he is right there. Um, are we? No, we're still doing Chungus. I'm just. Uh, are we Chungus? I'm kind of hungry. Viewers, re- uh, respond to us. Email. Email are we Chungus? Us if we're Chungus. I'm fucking begging you. Does anyone Please. have any horse Respond. auction Respond. updates? Do you guys Respond. Have any- Respond. I need this. I need Respond. this. Do you, guys, do you guys have any horse auction updates? I haven't been on since. Uh, I went last, on the website. Uh, um, not really. I told the They're story. gonna have the horse auction tonight. I thought it was on Saturdays. It's on Saturdays. Oh yeah, today's Sunday. So next week. Wait, we'll should we check? Pleasure. Wait, let's check the website. No, I, there's nothing new on we it. We missed it then. Nothing new. Oh, hard. No. Horse auctions. Damn it, you guys, come on, you had one job. Shout out to Elkhart, Texas. You, you guys All have a doing grow in the, right now. <laughs> the finest horses. You guys literally had one job. Yeah. One. Well, I okay. watched it once. That was like a month ago. I thought you guys were on was, this. I didn't know it was a bit we do every week. I hate it. It's so hard. boring. It's hard. I don't know anything <laughs> about <laughs> horses. <laughs> I'm sorry that I you guys are yeah, carrying I'm sorry, this. I'm sorry it's that- so Oh, difficult. no, I'm sorry okay. you guys had one segment to take care of. Well, what do you want me to- I watched the horse auction. I want like, you to what? bid and buy, buy a horse! <laughs> they blocked all of they us. They blocked my account, I can't even say anything That's anymore. really funny, we should start just making burner accounts. <laughs> I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to create, create fake cowboy No, you, accounts. you guys don't have to do it. I want you to copy-paste the entire LeVar Burton thing. It's not like What's I haven't- catfishing equivalent for cowboy folk? Uh, varmint. Um, varmint. Cousin fishing? No. Cousin Horse wrangling. <laughs> Horse wrangling. No, it's in Horse that right cum fucking. <laughs> Why do you always have to bring it back to cum fucking? I don't that's ever bring it back thing. to cum fucking. That's, that's your no, word. No, you guys don't have to do the horse house thing anymore. Word. I just thought that you guys wanted to keep up on that. Maybe. Well, we don't, so thanks so, for asking. Okay. Let's move <laughs> on. You know what, dude? You guys are acting like that's so much work to do. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm doing all the editing and the posting and the working on the website, but... Yeah, but I, you like doing that stuff. I do yeah. like doing it, but don't act like that it's... The horse and option's like a lot to do. It. Connor, okay, let's move on. Jackson's gonna take over here for a second. Okay. Have Big you Daddy have Jabsum. Big Daddy Jabsum. Big Daddy Jabsum's gonna take control. You guys can eat my ass. 
Bib Gabby Jabbies. You know, okay, I was gonna take ball. a moment. Connor, have you seen anything wacky on Instagram lately? Oh, I, I didn't think of one for this week. I no, don't know. That's Normally okay. it's like I send something to Sam and he just knows. Tells yeah. Me. I mean, well, yeah. I don't. I don't remember. Like normal memes. Yeah, I haven't seen any just like weird accounts this week. That's fair. This episode's gonna so be kind it's of. Kinda, um, it's kind of sad. Fan, I think. Yeah. We're, we're just getting back and we're trying to figure out all of our other stuff in our live lives. And I have to. Um, I have stuff to edit. Yeah, you guys yeah. are too demanding. Oh my god. <laughs> I oh, have a what? really soft Please. Pebus. They demand so much of me. Mm hmm. Mm. I want you to take your pants off. We do demand so much of you. I'm demanding that you take your pants off. Do you want? To, would you take a pay oh cut to God. do less? I don't even get paid. <laughs> you take a pay cut. <laughs> I'm kidding. God, I'm kidding. Jeez. Okay, well, we have a you, few more seconds. You keep Let's... all the money to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you, I, see, I, I see you stuffing it, stuffing it under your mattress. You're stuffing being it on my ass. No, you aren't my little pog champ. Fuck off. Are you just like memeing right now? Why are you looking at me? Well, really I thought maybe I could find something. The next something. thing we no, want to talk fine, about is 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 okay. The thing that this you were is, talking about. This is some weird thing that I found. I don't remember how I came across it, but it's it's this just weird like theory by some fucking transhumanists from 2010 called Rocco's Basilisk, and it's about like when we develop like an all-knowing AI, and it's basically like saying that even a a friendly AI that's like understands human consciousness and morality and stuff and always does the right thing would punish anyone that didn't help develop it because I guess all the lives that it could have saved if it were here earlier like they prevented that so they're basically saying like if you don't donate every cent that you have to AI science you're gonna like suffer in the future and how do we feel about that? Wait, so they're um, saying that, like, the AI will come back and punish you after the fact? It's... For not having donated to its inception? Or basically, to its creation? yeah. What? That's kind of scary, actually. It's like Elon Musk. Is it? How is it like Elon Musk? <laughs> he's gonna punish us. Because he... <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna make us all go to Africa like a naughty in the cobalt okay, mines. Well, <laughs> <laughs> in a naughty <laughs> way, huh? I don't know. It, I mean, that'd be terrifying, right? No, if you I, have I this fucking you. AI super beast coming after you because you didn't donate your million, minimum wage paycheck to that it. It seems a little irrational. It's like... No, I think it goes through... The, the, they yeah, go through and that. talk about, like... <laughs> why it's rational. I, I linked like an article for it. I'm sure and it's, it's just this it's a wiki for it. Yeah, it's whack. There, there's all this weird stuff that they have to assume um well, because it's a thought experiment. It's not like yeah, yeah these must be AI philosophers. Basically not AI coders. No, it's yeah, it's like AI philosophers and stuff but it basically like and people got like scared enough about the future thinking about this that they banned it from the website that it had started on and like it, <laughs> it was a whole controversy why and why is this a co it, <laughs> we're uncovering controversies in the ai f philosophy um fucking community yeah on some just like message board in 2012 you found this in 4chan didn't well, but it's you? Such no, a, it, it was just a, some meme like mentioned it was like a virgin versus chad meme and it was like it was the, the virgin like something and the chad rocco's basilisk like all-knowing <laughs> whatever and then i was like chad what the fuck is that and then it's actually meme. just this like but i don't we even know even, we would never reach the point where ai would be that good though well i mean can we connor you're the I, ai guy i have no idea you're the smart one well <laughs> Well, that doesn't. I'm not that smart, so that says more about y'all than. Yeah, <laughs> I'm smart. Well, I mean, I, I am dumb as hell. All I'm good for is editing the podcast. Yeah, like you're up that you can still ride. I'm just a cock sheep. I do like trains. Yeah, you just have cocks. So, steam um, trains even. Wow. Wait, cocks no, don't go. Don't, don't go. Uh, don't go to trains. I don't want to talk about fucking Europe's trains. Best steam train. I don't want to talk about it's trains. Experience. Like, okay, can we finish this bit before we start the next? Can we finish talking about the? Yeah, I want to talk about some of this stuff that's on this wiki because it's like. It's crazy, dude. They're talking about simulations of you are also you. Like, I mean, yeah, because yeah, no, you got this yeah, is you like go. mind bending okay, stuff. I think what the what the idea with it is is that like the AI can 
mm. use your like I guess memories and data about you and stuff to recreate like a perfect simulation of you to the point that it's like that it, it, is, it you? is you it, essentially and the idea is that like even if the AI doesn't come around for hundreds or thousands of years it will create a simulation of you in the future that is so much like you that I guess no one can tell the difference and it will punish that simulation but then I wouldn't so have then you no, still so it wouldn't have an effect on me though, it wouldn't have an dead. effect on you except that it is you so it, it depends on like if you care yeah. enough I, I think the thing yeah they say that the way to get around the basilisk is basilisk is to just not react to blackmail or like negative incentives because they just say yeah it's in the future it might do something bad to me but if I don't care and I just like ignore it then it's not gonna like yeah. it, it will then it will see because it has a simulation of you it will see from the future you that the past you wouldn't have changed your actions based on the punishment so then it wouldn't care huh. so then it wouldn't have wow. a reason to do it That's and it also yeah. it so if all we don't consider you, it you a problem to, then it wouldn't be a problem theoretically i guess yeah no but also uh, the thing is that like if you didn't know about it then you wouldn't have known that you needed to help develop this yeah. ai but once you've read the article about it and you know that it's oh. a problem then since you know great well thanks about the ai about and uh, in the, AI future, from yeah, the future is gonna yeah come since and the thing is me. now that you you know about it if you still choose not to fully support it, then you're at fault, and you will be punished. So this is just an act of terrorism that you've just done. It's my like, terror. Well, yeah. So now, <laughs> now, every, now know, everyone yeah. on this podcast, all of us, all the viewers, shout out Rocco's Basilisk. By it. You're going to get murked by an AI in the future because yeah. I found some article, well, and, and you're welcome. There is a section on the wiki that says, <laughs> so you're worrying about the Basilisk, and it's just saying all these things that you are, yeah. make it pretty much not impossible. No, and, that's, that's, and it's like, yeah, because there's so many <laughs> conditions and assumptions that you yeah, have to make for it to even no, work. It's not gonna happen. It's just that, like, the, the reason a lot of people were worried about it is because they heard about it, and then the first, like, actually thread that talked about it, the replies were just full of, like, counter-arguments and reasons against it, and when they banned that thread, all of that got lost, too. So oh. people just are, like, scared of it, and then don't... They didn't have any, like, resources, I guess. What was so the thread worried. on? Um, was it on Reddit? It's No, no. it's on this website called Less Wrong. That's just some like oh yeah I saw that philosophy in the wiki. or whatever yeah I don't know why exactly. would they ban it's it some, I don't get it because the creator like thought it was controversial and it was causing problems so he banned it and then other people were mad and it just I don't even know I didn't read too much into it huh. it's just it's a blog this is it's a community blog it says okay it's welcome a, to less wrong interesting discussion of the self Basil. because I mean it, theoretically if you don't believe that the simulation version of you would be you then you don't have to worry. But if it possesses all your memories, all your feelings, all your intuitions, and also the ability to feel pain and stuff, well, then, then it's it, a, it is it's, essentially yeah. you. But it's not it's like not, we w us physically would be there to experience. Yeah, because it. it's not like the current me that would suffer. It was a future me that I yeah. recognize feels the same things as me. It would be so I wouldn't be saving myself now. I'd be saving something else that future. feels like yeah. But it, would it be you, you though? Well, that's. I because guess you have to assume... To the simulation, it would you would be you. Like, the simulation yeah, well, would perceive it, it as a continuation of your life. Yeah, I And therefore, so. you... It would be you. I mean, that, that's my argument. That That is a major argument in philosophy. I know that what constitutes the self and the soul. But... Yeah. It says less wrong is just a yeah community blog. It's a forum. <laughs> they talk about philosophy, psychology, economics, rationality, artificial intelligence. Do they have porn? <laughs> no, no porn. Philosophy porn. You guys Philosophy should get into porn. that though. You probably would get more readers instead of this porn yeah. ass shit. Hey, less wrong. Uh, no, I think. Uh, I understand Maybe how it's terrifying, it. but it's like really. It's like it's, yeah, like no, it's gonna we'll happen. Be, yeah, we'll be but fine. If that I, happens, I think, we got bigger. Also, these I people don't understand thing, AI either. Well, I mean, it's, no, they're just it, like. Well, they, it's not AI that like we current have like machine learning that yeah. just. I, it's not that it's like if we were to have a they, they call it the singularity which is like an all-knowing ai that's yeah. all powerful it, it's like a god I don't basically even know if that's it's a philosophical possible. debate I don't, yeah it's not don't more than like enough energy to even f like feed well, something like that like i mean that's when you start like building dyson spheres and all that stuff like yeah. right yeah. it's it, it's um exactly <laughs> no i was thinking um, that too wait what <laughs> start building what dyson oh, a dyson sphere it's when you like the vacuum Dyson? It's like a no, big no, it's when you, no, it's like a 
It, it's a thing <laughs> that you do when you're like a stage three civilization or some weird shit. I don't know. It's wait, what stage civilization are we? Probably one. I don't know. There's some. <laughs> whole, I no, There's some what whole stage civilization. I don't know. Are. No, that's a whole like thing that's they people talk about aliens and shit, and that's when you like can travel to other oh, stars no, and I know this. construct. Yeah, because yeah, the Dyson shows. sphere. It's when you build a giant sphere around your your star, like the sun. Mm -hmm. And it's like basically an entire sphere of solar panels that like can capture the entire energy of it. This is insane. And then you can run. This is almost it's, like uh, this is almost like sci-fi shit. It, it yeah. is. I just it's looked not... up what scale are we, and it's called the Kardash <laughs> Kardashev scale. Yes, because some crazy fucking so type Soviet one didn't a type, come up with this. A type one civilization is called planetary, and then it goes type two is stellar. And then type 3 is galactic, and it says can control energy at the scale of its entire host galaxy. Like Star Wars. So, I mean, yeah, yeah with, like, yeah, because that's, what, I guess, what we're saying. We're it would take such an insane yeah. amount of energy that no, it's not one planet could not even to worry make. about. But it's like, yeah. I, I guess one thing that's kind of interesting that they, they, it's like one of the assumptions you have to make for the basilisk to be a possibility is this thing called a causal trade, which is that you can, like, you don't have to ever like meet or come into contact or anything with another like entity to be able to have an effect on it because it's like if you assume that you in your brain can create a perfect simulation of that future ai which is all we're doing when we think about it like it's not real we're just have an understanding of how it would act which is impossible because it would be so much more advanced than us but if you just assume that like thinking of the basilisk you know that it would punish people who don't do whatever mm -hmm. and then it in the future creates a simulation of you and that's what it's going to punish you're just thinking of a simulation of it it has a simulation of you even though you're like eons apart in time what yeah. you think it will do to its simulation versus what it thinks you'll think from its simulation of you you can like influence each other's behavior mm -hmm. oh that's trippy because yeah but like, i see how yeah because if you know that me. your simulation of the the ai that's in your head right. will punish its simulation of you and it's thinking of the simulation of you knowing that being worried about this punishment would change your effect that it doesn't have to do anything even in the future but it still can change how you locked yeah. in the the present. So we should move on to monkey noises. Well, no, wait. I just want to call because it's like it's punishment. <laughs> its punishment is based on the cons on your conception of what its form of punishment yeah. would be. Right. But if it did yeah, exist, it would sense. be so much more advanced. We wouldn't be able to suppose. Well, that's the point. That's, that do, that's the thing. It's yeah. like you a, us talking to a rat. Yeah, you like, couldn't actually. Or even smaller. It, like it says an ants. It, it says yeah. They actually said that in the article really? that like. It would be an ant trying to think about what a person would do. Right. It's just not not that's what plausible. I, that's what I, I was talking to. Um, it's like me trying to understand my wife. I was right. talking to my I was talking to my partner once about Wait, who's the about, ant, right? um, like like aliens and like interdimensional oh, travel, wife. and mm -hmm. she was just saying like if if an alien came to Earth, like we we're just talking about like you know all that first contact stuff. If they came to Earth and they had the ability to come to Earth from a whole other galaxy or place in the universe, they would be so far beyond us in intelligence like, oh, that it, we would be like ants and they mm -hmm. would just destroy our planet and use it for whatever they were using for. They wouldn't even stop to think like to talk yeah. to us. But what if they like put us in a zoo or something, right? I wouldn't even do that. I don't think we'd be like insects to them. Because if yeah. you have insect this... zoos, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> like butterfly, <laughs> like bu yeah. butterfly farms. Not Maybe ants. we're pretty to them. We're not Look even pretty me. to ourselves. I mean, I'm yeah. sexy. Yeah, Ooh, sexy like oh, sexy Sam. Maybe oh. this Card <laughs> this Kardashev <laughs> Kardashev scale is actually kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, no, it was some crazy. It, only the Soviets would come up with something. 1964 like too. Like peak Soviet. Yeah. Anyway, um, I wanted to... Interesting. Well... Oh, I was going to say about aliens, if we're just going to quickly branch onto that. Um, I th do I, they yeah. exist? I think they... Yes. Yes. Well, yes. I, if the exist. universe is endless, then definitely, right? They well. exist. They're just probably not on, like, the level we usually think of aliens. They're probably, like, on our level or lesser or something. Or no, they're definitely more. the the funny big head gray men with the yeah, thing. From, from aliens, Mars yeah. Attacks. Have you guys ever seen that? That old movie, Mars Attacks? I, what about when, when San, Santa against the Martians? Have you seen that movie? What the fuck are you talking about? Cowboys and aliens? No, I'm talking about they Santa probably look like Mark fighting Zuckerberg. Martians. Have you seen that guy? Look it up. Jesus Christ. Look up Santa against the Martians. I don't it's think a movie. it's a real thing. Santa the, against the Martians or something like that. It's... 
all the typing. Santa Claus conquers the Martians. Yet? <laughs> Something else I saw that we could talk mm -hmm. about. Oh my god. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Well, I think... Yeah, yeah. Santa Claus conquers. So, but you're saying, like, that the alien life is just, like, plants or bacteria or something. Plants, shit. bacteria. It could be complex thinking creature. It could be complex conscious creatures. We really don't know. But we don't know. Well, I mean, I doubt... We'll ever find out. I mean, we could eventually, but, like, yeah, who knows? Totally. They'd have to come from, like... It'd probably be, like, some weird radio wave that we hear from deep space from one of our satellites that is, like, the Voyager that's way out in deep space. Like, that's probably the best... But the what of the, you know, the timeline on ever getting out there physically is so far Oh, off. I mean, it wouldn't happen. Do you have to have, like, fucking, like, hyperspace from Star Wars or something? Epic. Or, like, the Mass Effect sheen, machine from Mass Effect. Yeah. you ever play Mass Effect? I've never played Mass Effect, no. But, yeah, you have to have some, like, star well, The whole point of technology. Mass Effect is that we, we get carried like, by other aliens. Is it really impossible? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Which is the saddest thing ever, because how dope would it be to be able to fly at light speed? Yeah, it just ruined everything. Well, you would die. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you could. So that would be dope. It'd be so dope. I, yeah, I guess that would be I dope. mean, you could, I don't know, can't you, like, jump through time and space or something? I don't know. Wormhole type beat. Like, Interstellar, have you ever seen Interstellar? With no, Matthew I know that's in there. You're the science like guy. That. Wormholes, do you have any idea whether that's possible? I mean, I, I mean, yeah. technically anything no, is possible you can until proven think un about, not like, possible. Think about, like, bending this, the fabric of space-time space, basically yeah. so yeah if you think of like all a space-time is just like a plane you can bend it and distort it in ways in other dimensions that mm -hmm. bring certain points closer together which would mean if there is a way to travel through a wormhole or something like to jump off the plane and back onto it that would be way faster than going around through the long the way yeah which means like your average Velocity looking at position one to position two over time would be faster than the speed of light, mm. but it's like just it's also like we're not gonna be able to do that anytime soon. No, <laughs> that's unfortunate. But it's not a um, thing, like, isn't anything technically possible until you prove that it's not? I mean, whether um, it's likely or not doesn't mean that it's not actually, I think, I think there might be statistically possible. Yeah, there might be a way to do it with like gravity because I, I saw some like show on the science channel a while ago or whatever that like talked about the possibility of a warp drive where i think you use gravity that you like manipulate somehow to bend space time so that you just get like a little bump in momentum like mm -hmm. i i don't remember exactly how it works but it's definitely like people have thought out ways that seem to make sense it's just That's actually implementing it is a whole nother level <laughs> that'd be so dope well, we should start. What did you? What did you guys? Want, you wanted to talk about trains. I'm fine with talking about trains. I just didn't want to talk about it in the middle. Oh no, of the that was thing. the equivalent of breaking out and singing dance. Okay, song and <laughs> we don't need to talk. Yeah. Singing okay. dance. Should we just dance. set up the last. That's the thing, steam then? trains in Europe that the you can highlighted ride. thing. You can ride steam trains in Europe still. Know how I feel about that. Well, no, you... Connor. I had another thing too. Did I? Did you, you guys were looking have something you up to say? on your computer? Uh, oh, um, oh, I did. I guess not an Instagram thing. But on YouTube, I found, I was just watching like speedruns of random games, and there's this game called Mr. Krabs Overdoses on Ketamine, <laughs> and it's it's like a SpongeBob game where you play as SpongeBob and you run around and collect ketamine and give it to Mr. Krabs, <laughs> and, and then it? he take well he takes some and then he like tells you he sends you to go to Patrick and you go to Patrick and he's like no you you need the good shit go kill some people and then you have to go murder people and then like the bucket heads from that episode with plankton are oh, running right. around like trying to trying to get you and it's just someone actually and, then, made this. and you finally get at the end you have to go kill plankton and you go you go all the way through the chum bucket and you get to the boss battle <laughs> and the boss battle is literally a coin flip like it just flips 50% you win the game 50% you just lose and that's that's the game it's like a 5 minute playthrough it's the the graphics are absolutely atrocious <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain it just if you're if you're listening to this just look up on YouTube like Mr. Krabs overdoses on ketamine gameplay and just wow just for like 2 minutes that's all you need to experience it it's someone made why that why don't we program a game right it's a terrible game 
A flash game, yeah. No, I think a flash game. It'll just be us spreading. Connor glasses. overdoses on ketam- ketamine. <laughs> it's actually just a video of Connor overdosing on ketamine. <laughs> That'd be horrible. It'd be funny though. Get him the pen. Get him the pen. Or whatever the fucking thing is. <laughs> We're just laughing. What, a, dude? That's wow. Okay, so do we want to address the highlighted fun- thing? Oh my god. What do we want to make? Graphics aren't that bad. Well, I mean, just like once you see Patrick and. Like the faces they make. <laughs> this is great, dude. Dude, he's so fat. He's thick as fuck. Thick. Actually, the graphics are Viewers. way better than I thought. Viewers. No, I, I don't mean like that. It's blurry. I just mean like look. Oh, he's at... so thick. Oh, oh my God. God. that's what I meant. Oh my yeah. God. Oh wow. Jesus yeah, viewers, God. you gotta find this. Yeah, you gotta look this I'll shit make, up. Should I link? Yeah, link this shit. Oh, oh yeah. my fucking lord. Uh, I saw like a way to download it, but yeah, I, I don't know. Should we? Right we oh my what god! We, play it? We, could, we could do a Twitch playthrough of it. <laughs> the thing is, this guy really speed runs it in five and a half minutes. Like, <laughs> oh my god, Patrick looks at. Oh let me yeah, see Patrick. Patrick. Let me see a Patrick. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, I can bring this shit over. Patrick is. You can't be that bad. bad. So Plays Mr. Crab. Oh my <laughs> lord! <laughs> oh god. Dude, why does yeah, Patrick look like the most hideous monster? We should- one of us should okay. work on downloading this. Yeah, we're gonna play this. I don't want to download it on my computer. Can we screencast and play it on the big TV? On the new TV. <laughs> the new TV? Okay, um, let's- We let's should try- oh, uh, we should start people. wrapping it up because I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm super yeah, hungry. Yeah, me too. Okay. And we got Final thoughts, or do we want to do the highlighted uh, item that Connor- Sir, this Connor. I don't know. Um, if, what if we just end on that? <laughs> well then, okay, then final thoughts first. You okay. go, you go. Um, I just want to thank all the guests for having me here, and the academy, and my parents, and just, you know, forget me where I was, and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I, forget me where I was, wow, yeah, epic, me too, thanks, hashtag me too, hashtag me neither, <laughs> oh, other Connor, um, yes, um, yes, Okay. Okay. Um, next episode, I will have developed a critical polyps issue. Po- polyps? What do you mean? I have ass cancer. Polyps? Okay. He's gonna be Jackson Polyps. <laughs> Jackson <laughs> That's Polyps. That's the joke. I'm gonna be Jackson <laughs> Polyps. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna paint a canvas shit all over his again. polyps. I'm gonna paint the podcast. <laughs> I'm gonna just shit on the computer. Just this place red and brown. <laughs> shit on the computer, and you, they can just um, listen to it an hour. White. All right, everybody. Stay well, red, white and blue. Thank you for indulging us Runs again. My we veins. hope, we hope you indo- enjoyed your break. From oh, life, Trump. and we hope stop. Stop. Sorry. <laughs> we hope that you also enjoyed the last episode. We'll probably do a B team episode again, I would think, at some point. So, led by our wonderful man Jackson. Shout out to Lunk. Shout out to our tech boy Adam. Shout and out. We love Adam. you all. Shout out Oprah Winfrey. Shout out Oprah. Shout out. We'll Shout see out you. Uh, Wait, we have to do the thing. Well, then do it. We'll see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys. Does anyone want to do the Yeah, thing? that's well, like the. Right. Well, then you're gonna do it by yourself. Okay, then no, even. Just end it. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> we love you. <laughs>